shall continue now with our lesson with uh, installation, the real installation of a wash hand basin. To install a wash hand basin, of course, you will first need to have all the pieces in place. You will need to have materials. You will need to have tools. But before you go to make your estimates, you need to see where you are going to fit the basin. After you have seen it, then it will give you an idea of the requirements you need. How is that position? How far is the basin from? What is its position in relation to other appliances? A wash hand basin, I told you, is a unit in our, our, our sanitary appliances. Plumbing in the buildings, it is a finishing. It is a finishing. It is at a finishing level. So all of the plumbing installation you do, you must have it well designed. Otherwise, it can spoil the beauty of, the, of your house, of your building. That is why, if it is not done by the architect himself, who drew the plan for that house, a plumber should know just simple designs. You should know how, where to fit this thing so that whoever comes to use it will really like it. Not because of it is looking, but even the design, how it is fitted, how, where it, the position, where. So you need to design where to put that, to, uh, to design your installation. Simple design. So a wash hand basin, this is an appliance used in the buildings for washing, as I told you in my introduction. Simple washing, hands, face, what? As I explained earlier. So you need to, to know that point. And now we can start off. Now that I have seen where to fix this wash and basin, I want to see, do I have all of the tools I require? Do I have all the materials that go with that wash and basin? That wash and basin, I told you the types we have. But today we shall look at the pedestal type. How to fit a pedestal type of a basin. It has to have the bowl as you see it there. It has to have a pedestal. Pedestal. It's a leg for that thing. It is a leg, something to sit on. It is for its support, and it is for beauty. So you will see how beauty this thing shows. So do I have my, my trap? Do I have my? Mixer, as I told you, do I have these pieces, the flexible tubes? Do I have these pieces, 
This we call them angle, angle valves. You need to travel those. Do I have these things here? These are thread tapes. They help us when you are making joints to make it watertight, to make our joints watertight. So you will really need to have this. This one, this is a tape. You put it on your fitting. Simple. That is it is work. Do you have the fittings? We have other fittings. These are small things here. These are called the elbows. They are pipe fittings. Fittings, we have also what we call nipples. These are all for jointing, joining pipes. Do I have this thing here? This is a clip to hold the pipes in place. You need to have this. You need also to have Basin bolts. Basin bolts. Of course, they support the, the basin in the place. And these bolts will need plugs. These are called the plastic plugs. After you have drilled the holes, you put in this to hold this, this in the position so that it does not shake. That's the purpose of this one. Another thing you will require, there are tools. You need the tools to do your work. Of course, I need to measure. Measuring, I will require this one. This is a steel ruler. If not a steel ruler, you have also this one. This is a tape measure for measuring. You know you do the pipe work you will need it to cut. So this is a hacksaw for cutting. If not that one, there are other things you can use, like a wheel cutter, like what? But for this particular work, I need this thing here. It's a hacksaw. I will need the hammer. In case I need to hammer something, I will need the hammer on my side. I will need, we have also some spanners here. This one, this is an adjustable spanner. In case, say, you meet something like, like this one. This one is not round, it has angles, but this one, this one will help you. It can work well on irregular shaped fittings. We shall need also this thing here. This is a stock and die. This is a stock and die. It helps us to cut the threads on the pipes. This thing is, you see here. This is a stock, and these are dies. They are dies because they have four dies inside. So we call it stock and the die. They, we use it to cut threads. We have also 
a pipe wrench here. This one helps us to tighten pipes. In case you need, you need to tighten, you will use this one. So big, but we need it. We have, a, you, you will need also this one. This is a spirit level. It can help you to draw straight lines. Vertical, horizontal, very nicely. You're using, using, it has some water here. You just watch this thing here. It can give you the, the straightness of the pipe, the water. Or you are fitting, is it leveling? So this one is for, it is a spirit level. Another tool you may require is this one. This is a drilling machine. Okay, before we used to have chisels. You could chisel out a hole what, with a hammer taking you so much time. But today we have this one to simplify the work. So it is a drilling machine. It has this bit which drills. These bits are changeable. You may have one size that you need. You just this drill. If you want to change, if you wanted to change this, uh, this bit here, of course, you know, as a, tec a technician, you must mind much about your safety. So safety is our It's very important in our technical work. So before you think of changing a, a, a bit like this one, you, you take the plug, you plug it off, or, or out of that thing. And then you go to opening and replacing the, your, your bit to whichever size you want. Or you can tighten. So you must tighten it properly so that this bit does not jump out. So that is that with the with the, the drilling machine. This is the key. It is locking key. It helps you to tighten this thing in the machine. So the, you need this thing. It's a very important part of the drilling machine. So now that we are going to, to start the installation, of course, I need to put all my, to put my table, all my working area in order. 